right, coming up next, it's a middleweight matchup between the last style bender, Israel Adesanya, and Derek Brunson. All right, should be interesting to see how it goes for him here tonight. This is a high-level wrestler of the highest order. No questioning the cardio. He's got a big fight in front of him here tonight. Every time he steps foot into the octagon, he does one thing, and that's embrace the grind. He gets right in your face. He pushes forward. He gets to the clinch. Loves the single leg takedown. If he can grab your leg, it's like getting caught in a vice grip, getting grabbed by a crocodile. He is going to finish it. He starts to run his feet immediately. When he can get you moving, he is always looking to advance from position one to position two to eventually finishing that great single leg that he possesses. And when he closes the distance, best of luck trying to buck this guy off of you. He does pummel drills in his sleep. Big fight for him here tonight. All right, so here he is, the undefeated Israel Adesanya, his crowning achievement, at least to this point in time, UFC 236, a monumental, unanimous decision win over Kelvin Gastelum in what was one of the best title fights you or I have ever seen. One of the greatest fights of all time. And to watch Israel Adesanya go out in round five, when the fight is on the line and have his very best round of the fight was inspiring for anyone that likes mixed martial arts. If you're a fan of a young guy like Israel, to see him do that, to earn that title, is very, very assuring as he's getting ready to go forward in his career. To achieve that goal in such a short amount of time is truly, truly unheard of. Our tale of the tape for this much anticipated middleweight encounter. Adesanya is 31. Derek Brunson is 36. Adesanya is three inches taller. He will have a three inch reach advantage. The veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a wrestler holding a professional record of 23 wins, eight losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Wilmington, North Carolina, Derek Bronson. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 23 wins, two losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Israel, the last style bender, Adesanya. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Dan Mergliata. So Dan Mergliata shares the cage. You ready? His head kick looked like that one was blocked. Oh, that's a good right hand. Oh, do you believe it? Another head kick lands. Got to start raising that guard or this is going to be the end of the fight. I mean, it's going to be the end of the fight. It's very surprising that he's even standing upright after taking such a bad shot. When you're in the clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Just misses with the right. He's got him with his hip into that kick. Oh, beautiful strike there by Israel Adesanya. He's got a lifetime in the game, not a lifetime in the UFC, but you see, this is a lifelong striker who is very dangerous with all limbs. Yeah, and when you're standing with Izzy, you're in trouble, man. You're under constant attack the whole time. You never know what he's going to hit you with. And right there, he lands the strike that he was looking for. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Israel Adesanya. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. 
Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? So three minutes. That's a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he lands. Great job. Another straight left. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Nice punch lands over the top. Brunson's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block! Oh, he gets the takedown late in the round here. That's a way to leave an impression on the judges, and big picture, I think, could set him up for future success in the next one. It was the big knockdown courtesy of that kick that, that nearly closed the show for good. It almost closed the show, but nothing's more discouraging than when you get somebody hurt that bad and you don't shut the door. He has to go back to work now knowing that he's got about as tough a guy as, if, as he's ever had in front of him in the octagon tonight. All right, with that, we now present round okay, two. Round two Israel Ready? Adesanya versus Derek Brooks. <laughs> Able to check the high kick. Nice one-two there. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC. Really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to his bully. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into the strike. So we call on the fight stats here. These numbers are unofficial, but 52 total strikes have now landed for the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. And landing with 35% accuracy here against Derek Brunson. Huge block there. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. We'll finish this oh, he might be out. Shot blocked by Brunson. All right, so another swing and a miss. And I'd imagine if your gas tank is this low, you got to find times to try to preserve that energy and, and get yourself back to a place where you can actually dole out some damage. Yeah, you got to get out the space, find places to rest and recover. Get against the octagon, go to the clinch, find ways to just. Oh, that is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to have too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking. Now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. The right hand. Oh, the board. Now his opponent's really on the ropes. His opponent's on Beach Street. He's hurt so bad. I don't know what he's going to do to stay in this fight. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found. Oh, he's hurt. He's hurt away. Bad. Brunson's lower job. Very swollen now. Oh! Dominant position for him here. That is it! And that'll do it! Oh! Oh, my goodness. What a fight. A near-perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win.
Bruce Buffer is here. He has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliato has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 53 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Israel, the last battle bender of Asana. So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knock. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined.